Everybody ran out into the streets. We were still in our night clothes. There were hundreds of planes overhead. And then all of a sudden, we saw great big puffs. And my father said, get back in the house and start packing. We are leaving right there and then. We were lucky we weren't killed by the bombs because refugees who had left the day earlier were bombed by the Germans as they were going over the road. I was 17 while I was running away from Brussels. When I left, I, I was pretty sure I'd never come back. And there was a ship that was going to the United States in September, October, the Kwanzaa. They had about 300 people with visas to the United States. On the ship, the first stop was New York, and there a lot of the passengers were let off. When we watched the people get off in New York City, it was a low, low part of the, you know, like, where are we? Nobody wants us. A year before us, the St. Louis had been sent back. There was no help. And we can imagine what happened. At that point, we get worried. Where do you go from here? What do you do? Who's going to take us in? So we started going from port to port to a few different ports, and nobody wanted us. We were riding to the State Department. Uh, yeah, we were, everybody had a hope. Everybody had someone who knew someone they thought, but it didn't work. There was a very, very strong isolationist tendency in the United States at the time, and people didn't want to get involved in the European affairs. Hitler at the time was turning away the Jews and was using it as political otter for himself because he would say, look, none of these other countries are taking the Jewish refugees and I'll decide what to do. We ended up in Virginia. We were in Virginia for one reason and one reason only, to buy fuel to go back to Europe. So everybody was in great despair there on that ship. Well, we would have gone back to Europe and the Germans would have taken us over the ship straight to a concentration camp. They were very angry about this whole thing, you know. And they, and they would say, see, America doesn't want them. <laughs>